One of the ways organizations answer the question of when to replace their vehicles is by using a points-based system. In these systems, points are assigned to categories such as how old a vehicle is, how many miles it's been driven, or how much the maintenance costs are adding up. <clears throat> the higher the point value, the sooner that vehicle needs to be replaced. We decided to add a points-based replacement feature in Cartograph. Let's go take a look. So I'm sitting here on a dump truck record, and I've already scrolled down to the vehicle replacement rating section, and one of the things you'll notice is that there isn't any place to enter any values. That's because everything is calculated automatically for you. We wanted to make it as easy as possible, as hands-free as possible, and so as long as you've set up all of your equipment records and you're entering your daily data, excuse me, your day-to-day -day maintenance, everything should be calculated for you. Uh, it's broken out into six categories. Each one of the categories is given a zero to five rating, zero being good, five being the worst. And uh, we'll start here with the first one. Age of the vehicle is the first category. And that works by uh, accruing points at one point for every year of the vehicles of the vehicle. In other words, how old it is. A two-year-old vehicle would get two points, a three-year-old vehicle would get three points, so on and so forth. Uh, the next category is usage. And by default, uh, this is essentially an odometer reading, how many miles or how many hours the vehicle has been used. And uh, the default is 10,000 miles per one point. So a, a 30, 000, um, uh, vehicle with 30,000 miles on it would be three points. Uh, I think it's 250 hours for if you're using an hour meter instead of miles. The next category is maintenance and repair costs. And those costs are, the way that this one works is those costs are a percentage of the overall purchase cost of the vehicle. And it goes in increments of 20%. 20%, when we add up all the maintenance costs, if it goes to 20%, that's one point. 40% is two points, all the way up until you get to 100%. And again, the max is five. Uh, the next category is reliability. The way that this one works is how frequently is the vehicle coming in for maintenance? The more frequent it is, the higher the point value. Again, the default is uh, we chop it up into 90-day periods, and uh, an average over time of one in that 90-day period is what we're sort of shooting for. That's good. It equates to one. Five times in that same 90-day period would equal five. That's not very good. Uh, the next category is type of service, and you can kind of think about this as a criticality factor. And the way that this works is you assign a value, again, one to five, to, uh, based on the criticality of this, specific, this uh, type of vehicle. So if it's a vehicle that you're using to bounce from job site to job site, and if it goes down, you could still get there some other way, that's a pretty low criticality factor. You'd assign it maybe a one. Where on the other hand, if you have a snow plow, and it's the only one you've got, and you have a, you're in snow in winter, uh, the criticality of that thing being up is pretty pretty high. Maybe you'd assign it a four, even a five. The last uh, category is condition, and this works just like our other assets in uh, relation to the inspection methodology. So you set up a deterioration curve and a prediction group, and your vehicle deteriorates at whatever you've set that curve to be. Again, we've converted that value into a, a one to five, excuse me, a zero to five number. At the bottom, you'll see this 9, 1.14 in the green. That's simply a sum of all of the categories. So this particular vehicle's vehicle replacement rating is 9.14. Uh, we've also provided an average here, this average VRR, in this case, 6.61. And that is a, so you can get a snapshot of where this particular vehicle sits up against all of the vehicles of the same equipment class. So we're talking about, in this case, dump trucks. We have a dump truck here. All of the rest of the dump trucks in your fleet equate to 6.61. Uh, the very last thing is that I wanted to sort of touch on is you've, you heard me say default is, default is for each one of these things. If you don't like the way that our settings are, are coming up or wh where, how we have accrued the points, you can go in and change those values. For instance, I mentioned the default for age is one point for every year. You could say two points for every year or instead of 10,000 miles accruing one point, you could say 20,000 miles or something like that. Um, <clears throat> this allows you to di dictate when and where the replacement score should actually sit and uh, um, make a determination as to when you should replace that vehicle. That sort of wraps up the vehicle replacement rating feature within Cartograph.